There's still no hard information tonight on what caused a double tragedy in Bali, the deaths of a mother and daughter. Police on the island think the women may have been killed by poisonous food or allergies, but so far there have been no autopsies and two restaurants say there's no evidence their meals are to blame. Aussie tourists sitting down to a birthday lunch at an Ubud restaurant. Cheers. 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 Happy birthday. The same tables where three days ago Nolene and Ivana Bischoff ate, just 12 hours before they died. Do you think your, your restaurant is responsible for making these people sick? No. No. Their bill includes calamari and a seafood basket with tuna. I'm sure not cause uh, the meal from our restaurant. Yeah. I'm exactly not cause. Because if this happen, maybe they happen with the other guests. 111 people ate lunch that day. The restaurant says no others became ill. It hasn't put off the tourists. I think everybody here spoke about it, but we then just had to um, think about what we were eating. and You've got to be concerned about it, I suppose, but yeah, you just watch what you eat, where you eat, I suppose. Police still guard the Padang Bai Resort, where the mother and daughter ate more fish, a piece of mahi-mahi for dinner, their final meal. There too, the resort manager doesn't believe it was poisonous. He ate the same meal himself. I had it the same night. And you're not sick? No, no, no. Mm, the restaurant was uh, rather full and a lot of people probably had it. Back in Australia though, Nolene's grieving sister she thinks she knows the culprit. Uh, I honestly feel they got sick in a bud somewhere there um, and that's what we probably will never know. Treating doctors initially thought Nolene and Ivana had a severe allergic reaction, something their family says is impossible. Only toxicity tests and an autopsy look set to reveal the cause of death. The family will also get their own in Australia. We want to do it to honour Nolene because she deserves that and she deserves for us to find out why this tragedy has happened. There is another piece in this puzzling investigation. The driver who took the Bischoffs around Bali on their last day alive. This restaurant recorded his car's registration number and they've given it to police. Officers, though, have already ruled out foul play, but as they investigate, there's more worry and more pain when a family needs it the least. Just devastated. Um, I not only lost a sister, but my best friend. Michael Best, Nine News, Bali. The latest emerging from Bali right now is that there may be signs the women choked. The bodies of Nolene and Ivana Bischoff have been examined by a forensic doctor. Tracy Vo has more detail. Tracy, what can you add? Well, Tim, there has been speculation that food poisoning claimed the lives of Nolene and Ivana Bischoff, but one that the family is refusing to believe. Now, this doctor, a forensic doc doctor, was the first to physically examine their bodies and he's discovered signs of asphyxiation or choking. He says the mother and daughter just couldn't breathe. But doctors are still waiting for results from other tests, such as poisoning tests. Here's what one of them had to say today. So, until now, the cause of death, uh, we, uh, we cannot... Uh, Established, yeah, because awaiting the autopsy process. Their bodies are still being held at Bali Sangla Hospital awaiting autopsy, a process which hasn't happened yet, Tim. The family hasn't consented to one being conducted here in Bali. They want one done back in Australia, so it will further delay any results. So yet uh, another anxious and heartbreaking wait for the Bischoff family. Tim, I spoke to some tourists who arrived in Bali here today and later in the bulletin I'll have their response.